Hey y'all, we need to talk. So this isn't the typical type of video that I do. However, it does kind of play into um, what I do here on this channel. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for always returning back to my channel, even though I'm super inconsistent. I wanted to go ahead and start posting videos again. My goal was to start uploading again tomorrow, which is Wednesday, December the 13th, being that it's my birthday and just finish out December um, uploading videos a couple of times a week. But I didn't want to exactly start off loaded, uploading this video that I'm making now on my birthday. So I decided to go ahead and do it today, which is Tuesday. Day, December the 12th um and this is going to be a really like raw video so um it's going to be probably sensitive a uh, sensitive subject and people probably aren't going to want to hear it but it needs to be discussed so I know that when we prep a lot of us prep like foods and medical supplies and prep all kinds of materials and supplies that are just useful in our everyday life or just in case you know anything big ever happens we just want to also always make sure that we're prepared but the one thing that I haven't really heard anybody discuss is like prepping for your family in a sense of when you pass right um we're all gonna pass one day we don't know the day the time or the year and the best thing that i think we can do for our families is make sure they're prepared and that you can leave them with something if if at all possible um and what i mean by that is a life insurance policy i have seen things happen over the last several years um and just like personal experience when people pass like a lot of people don't have life insurance policies so it leaves the family scrambling and then like even in the future it can cause issues right so I just want to urge you guys to take the time to make sure you're covered in your preps and even when it comes to life insurance you can check sometimes with your employer your employer will offer it for yourself and your staff I mean your staff your staff your spouse um, you can go to private agencies and companies and take out life insurance policies too now sometimes there are like little clauses and stuff like that and sometimes they'll make you do um, like provide your medical history and stuff like that because if you have like medical diagnoses and people don't always want to cover you or it can affect the coverage that you have right um so I will say you might have to pay like a higher premium or stuff I don't know I don't have medical issues I just know from family members that that's typically what happens and if you are the breadwinner in your family you're going to want to make sure that you're covered and that your spouse has enough to take care of the household or if you are um have a significant other that stays home and is a primary caretaker of kids especially kids that are underage you are going to want to make sure that um i mean because they may have to go back to work so you're going to want to make sure that enough is left for like child care and things like that so there are different amounts that you can get um and like, like i said it's just a discussion that you need to have you know whether you're by yourself or you know with your family or with your significant other your spouse and it, it's a hard conversation to be had but it needs to be had um one thing my husband always says is like you know i'm not and of course, I'm having storage issues with my phone. But like I said, you just want to make sure that you have that conversation. Like my husband always like says, like anytime somebody you know passes or any, this is why I have life insurance to make sure that you guys are taken care of. And what that looks like for us might not look the same for you. Like my husband has ensured that the policy that he has will completely pay off our house and will provide for bills for I don't know how long, um, but it would be a good little bit. Um, will I have to go back to work at some point? Yes. He says he's not going to let me get off that easy. <laughs> um, and that's okay. But like I said, during the time and during the time, you just want to make sure that, you know, everything is taken care of that. Um, I mean, cause bills don't stop, right? Somebody passes away tomorrow. Bills are still going to roll in. Like you're still going to be responsible for things. So I just wanted you guys to take the time, um, out and just, like I said, we're coming up on a new year, just kind of check into it. I know things are hectic and crazy for a lot of people. Maybe at the first of the year, you can check into policies. If you don't have those, they're not typically a whole lot of money. I was actually looking at one of my husband's pay stubs the other day and he pays like 22 cents. Um, it was like 22 cents and it says spouse beside it. I don't remember the amount he has out on me, um, but that's like 22 cents that comes out of every single check and he's paid weekly. So it's not a whole, whole lot. Um, and I don't remember how many different policies we have um, 
I don't know all that. <laughs> I probably should know, but I don't. But anyhow, like I said, I'm not going to make this video too long. I just felt like this was a conversation that needs to be had, especially when you prep and you prepare for so many things. A lot of people do not like talking about death, um, but it's just something that happens. I'm okay talking about death. One fact is that I would like to work in a funeral home and that's not everybody's cup of tea and people are literally weirded out by that when I say that. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video, a video up. I will have prepping related videos coming up um in this week so just make sure you look forward to those make sure you had your have your notifications turned on thank you so much for taking the time to watch stay safe and i will see you guys in another video